try to urge us add another mouth to the masses. Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're going to keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. It doesn't sound like you're getting the help you deserve. Don't pretend like you feel sorry for me. People like you are only interested in the power that comes from magic, not the problems of common folk. But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. Are things really that bad in Goliath? That depends who you ask. I'm sure there are some who don't notice how hard it is for everyone at the bottom of the pile. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Isen Clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned. And then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorold returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. Then, why should you care if our warlords don't? Can I help? You? Well, I'm not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angrim that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The Pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. You left. All we know is that his leaving has something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly... I don't think anyone knows. I will speak to Angram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best, but we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. Stop messing around with that technology, will you? while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. I'm actually not from Edan. 
now. Hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And do you want warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. You shouldn't rely on machines. Come with me! Hey! Did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Be careful. You don't want to get you exiled for even asking about that. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The Berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. I'll sell the weapons to you. Sell? No, think of this as a finder's fee. I'll make sure these get back to the right place. Lags in the days of Eric Eisenfaust. We don't need clerics. What are you seeking here, stranger? Safety? A new start? Meaning? All those things can be offered to those who accept our laws. Who are you? My name is Anglo. 
It is my duty, along with the other warlords, to ensure the laws are kept and the Berserker way preserved. We offer protection to those from outside who understand that Edan is working to help Magalan. Stick to the laws, respect our ways, and you will find Goliath welcoming. Break the laws, show contempt and punishment will follow. You will have a fair chance here if you understand that. Cinda. Is there another problem with food supplies? She hasn't received the resupply she needs and nobody seems to know what she will. Didn't Jorah sort this out? Or has his failure to fix things become my problem? What does Yora have to do with this? Jora was supposed to have sorted this out. Once more it comes back to me to resolve this directly. Then there won't be any more escorts for the deliveries. The last group I sent were killed by a troll. We haven't more men to lose that way. A troll killed your men? Good men. I fought beside some of them. Being eaten alive was not the fate they deserved. I'll not send more men to their deaths. We have scant enough as it is. Cinda will have to deal with this problem herself. Tell her it is time she called on one of the other clans for help. The Ison clan will no longer risk lives for fish and meat. supplies if he can't. He's got a host of warriors he can assign. I'm one person behind a counter. I could go for you. You? Well, I, I appreciate the offer, but if his men were killed, I can't ask you to go alone. Besides, it's not one delivery I need. It's regular supplies and a lot of them. If the Isen clan won't help, one of the others will have to. Would you speak to Ragnar? Warlord of the Hooded Crows, or Cormag of the Hammer Clan. I have to hope that one of them can understand why this is so important. Stop messing around with that technology, will you?
Lucinda sent me here. Further problems with the supply run? The warlords discussed this, and the Isen clan promised to see to the delivery. The Isen clan are refusing to help. Then you should speak to Angram. He guaranteed the supplies. If you can't persuade him, then try Cormac. He agreed to cover any problems that Angram could not. shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We Berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Cinda needs your help. More trouble with the supplies? What can I do to help? She needs people to collect the food deliveries. I thought Angram had sent men to do that. Many he sent are dead. They were attacked by a troll. And more will die if our men aren't fed. Still, if Angram is worried about sending men, then there must be a real danger. I will send men to help Sidna. But if they're to go out there, then I want to improve their odds of survival. We recently captured some movement detectors from the clerics. They're being stored in the pit, ready for the Elix to be taken out of them. Get me one of those movement detectors, and I will give Cinder the help she wants. Isn't taking technology from the pit against the law? Sometimes, laws must be broken for problems to be fixed. Get me that detector, and I will help Cinder. Those are my terms. How do I get past the pit guard? It's not for me to encourage the use of technology. But you could use those jump jets of yours to go over the wall and drop down into the gully from above. You'll have to scout it out to find the safest route. That would be a safer and more acceptable route than harming the guard. I'm sure someone as resourceful as you can figure something out that avoids bloodshed.
restricted. No entry. What is this place? This is the pit. Any elex, any forbidden technology that comes into Goliad, this is where it's kept. Move along there, move along. stand a chance of seeing danger before they walk into it. Tell Cinder she can count on the support of the Hammer Clan. I will tell the men to be ready. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons, or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us, but... I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. to help? Yes. Oh, you don't know what a relief that is. I was going crazy here. The least I can do is offer you some Alexit as thanks for your help. Give me what you think is fair. Well, the Isen clan were due two payments. I guess they won't be claiming them now. There was 250 for the first, the same again for the second, so you get 500 Alexa. Teach me something. 
Of course. 